Hey everybody, it's Maggie with today's plank story. So of course, if you don't wanna do plank, you always have options. You can do alternating shoulders, elevation and depression and do part of, do, start with that. And then you can just tilt your head to one side and hold it. And if you wanna add a little extra stretch, hand on your head, only if that feels better. And then you'll do the same thing on the other side. And then when you're done with that, you can go back to little shoulders. All right, so. Um, this is a story from when we were in the RV, but it dawned on me the other day that I think some of our RV travel, which didn't always go according to plan, um, helped me prep for living in a construction zone. So we've been living with our house under construction for the past nine months. And what that means is that, like, everything is dusty. Things are covered in dust. Uh, I try to clean it up, like, where we normally have to work. But, like, if, if I don't touch it, I haven't cleaned it because it just gets dusty again. So what's the point? It's an effort in futility. But I learned that a little bit because when we were in the RV, you know, there's vents and it's not airtight. So when we'd go on a dirt road, dust would infiltrate and fill the whole place and everything was covered in dust. Sometimes we'd put like a shirt over our face because you couldn't breathe in the dust. And um, one day it was just like frustrating me so much. Everything I touched was dust. And it got everywhere. So it was inside the cupboards. Our sheets were dusty. I knew before we went to bed that night, I was going to have to vacuum off the sheets. So Matt's driving and I get up and I'm getting a little tousled as we drive, but I, I clean everything top to bottom. I vacuum every wall. I vacuum the sheets. I vacuum our pillows. I pull all the dishes out. I clean everything everything. And when I finish, I feel like so relieved, but like gross, you know, because you've been working with dust. So you're all like snotty. And, and I sit down in the passenger seat, put my belt on. And I'm not exaggerating. Moments later, we hit a dirt road and poof, the RV just filled, fills with dust, covering everything I just cleaned. And I think before bed that night, I like prioritized the bed, but like didn't clean everything. And I don't know, there's some message of life in there, right? Sometimes things don't go according to plan. Sometimes uh, we really try to force something that's just not going to be in the moment. But I think of that as I live through the dust here. And I try to be like, all right, this has to be clean, but I have to try to not look at this for the next few months. But it's not long now, because I hear it's possible we might have a kitchen by Easter. Maybe, maybe. Fingers crossed. All right. Have a great day. And as always, keep moving.